Hey guys! So a moment ago she was sitting next to me but she totally moved, totally ditched, ditched me. I was a bit sad but anyway, let's move on to the video. Today I will be showing you guys how to make some awesome, healthy, nutritious, good for the liver dandelion tea. So I've been reading about dandelion tea a while ago, like when, when I say a while it's been like two years or so since I was reading up the benefits so I'm a little bit ha hazy, is that, is that the word? A little bit on the facts of dandelion tea. So in my talk with Dee recently, in my interview, I will link that in the cards above if you guys want to check that out. It was really interesting. We talked all things holistic health, nutrition. We talked a lot about the liver because it has a huge role in things like hormonal acne and cellulite and things like that and inflammation because the liver is the thing that actually filters out toxins in the body and when it's not working 100% you start to get things like inflammation and things like cellulite or hormonal acne like an unhealthy gut and things like that because it's just not working properly it's not being able to filter out the toxins and things like that which are really detrimental to your health and the toxins actually end up being stored in your fat cells which is not where you want them to go because over time that builds up and then the liver has to deal with that as well as more toxins coming into the body and it becomes like an overload issue anyway dandelion tea is great for the liver because it helps with detoxifying cleansing and just I guess is a great food source for the liver so I'm going to be making that's, that came out really weird. I'm going to be making some dandelion tea today, but I'm going to be making it from scratch. So rather than just getting the tea leaves from the store, I'm going to actually go pick them from our front lawn because it's spring. I think I have stuff on my lips. I can feel it. And it's dandelion season, which is awesome. So it's come at a perfect time. So I'm going to go pick some from our front lawn. They just grow kind of natively. Like, is that the word? Wild? They grow wild? Yeah. Anyway, we don't plant them. They just grow every year. They're great for bees as well great for attracting bees so if you do want to attract more bees dandelions are really good and you can make tea with them it's like a win-win so I'm going to go and pick some now I'll show you guys how to brew them up and make dandelion tea with them now be careful if you do pick them wild this is something you got to keep in mind make sure that if it's like in a reserve or park area or anything like that that's owned by council that it's not being sprayed because if it's being sprayed it can get the, the chemical residue on that and then if you make it into tea you ingest that so if you can't find it I guess growing these cars honestly it's not usually like this <laughs> so if you can't find it wild growing I guess where it hasn't been sprayed or anything like that just buy it organic from the health food store and always I always opt for just loose leaf tea because it doesn't come in the tea bags which usually have plastic in them and that has a whole other issue with it not just wasteful but also the plastic leaches in to the food and goes into your body and that's not what you want. Anyway, <laughs> enough of my ramblings. Let's get straight on to making this tea. Yeah. Oh, she's like, now I want to come. She'll, right, she'll wait there. Oh, if only I could bring her out, but she totally like runs away. So I'm like, I can't, can't take her with me, so unfortunately. Let's go pick some dandelions. You know, I haven't actually done this since I was a kid, so this is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm just going to set you guys up right here and not put you at an angle. And I'm going to go pick some dandelions. <laughs> My hands aren't big enough. I need like two cups. So I'm just going to get a container. Got it. <laughs> I was doing just fine before I met you. I drink too much and that's an issue, but I'm okay. Alrighty, I'm back again. So this is my haul of dandelions. <gasps> now it's not quite two cups, it's probably about a cup, maybe a cup and a half. But I did pick my front lawn dry of dandelions, so there's not one single dandelion left. I basically picked them all. It was a pretty good haul, honestly, like if I had to say so myself. So that was set me for a while. There's a few more other spots around my area that I can go pick some more dandelions from. So I'm not too fussed. I'll just like, recollect a new stash later on. But you know what I was thinking when I was picking those dandelions? Every time I think of dandelion, I think of that scene in Ice Age when he's like, a dandelion? <laughs> a dandelion. I thought the frost wiped them all out. All but one. I don't know, do you guys think the same thing? It just pops into my head every time I think of these guys. And then I keep getting like things in this. <laughs> As I'm picking the dandelions, I have stray leaves of things. Oops. Anyway. So yeah, that is pretty much how I collect these little dandelions. A dandelion? <laughs> oh, the joke never gets old. So I'm going to now stew them and turn them into tea. So I'll show you how, how I do that. 
So I'm going to actually show you holding this today um, and doing it as I go. So I just put my little dandelion collection. Hold on. There you go. My little dandelion collection just there. Because at the moment <laughs> we've got basically everything in our fridge on the table. Because we're fixing our fridge at the moment. We're just having a bit of a moment. <laughs> and not really working. So we've had to reset it and get the fridge guy person in <laughs> to fix it so everything we own in the fridge is basically sitting on the counter here so I'm going to be using this tiny little spot just here and next to her she may be a bit loud today <laughs> and I'm going to try and cook and show you guys well not really cook make tea and show you guys from here so hopefully that works all right Carl he's ruining our salad mm. Mm. Oh, Carl easy Frank he ruined our salad oh, oh. I told you, it just keeps playing over and over my mind. Freaking love Ice Age. Best movie. What do you think? Yeah? She thinks it too. To make the tea, place about two cups of clean dandelion in a saucepan. I just had the one and a half cups, so that's what I used. Then you want to cover it with about four cups of water. Now I use filtered water just to make sure that my water was clean, so I didn't have any of the heavy metals that can sometimes be in tap water, but it's up to you. Then you want to bring the water to a boil and allow the tea to infuse for around 3 hours or overnight. I just let mine sit for 3 hours because I wanted to have it sooner rather than later. So if you want to you can do this the night before and let it sit overnight but I just let mine sit for 3 hours on, on heat. Then you want to strain out the dandelion and reserve the liquid for your tea. If the tea is too strong, you can just dilute the tea with some water if the flavour is too, I guess, intense for you. I did that. I just put a little bit of the tea at the bottom and then poured hot water in after that to kind of dif dilute and diffuse the tea a little bit more. really good oh it's so warming mm. I'm like warm from the inside out now so that's pretty much how you make dandelion tea from scratch using the flowers and the stem you can actually do different variations of dandelion tea because they said the stem the flower the leaves and the roots are actually edible so you can eat every part of the dandelion flower <laughs> itself though keep in mind just a side note that the stem has a white sap in it that can actually cause like a laxative effect on your gut I guess so if you do want to avoid that just don't use the stem in the ingredient like in the ingredients part of it like just don't use the stem in the tea just use the flower and the roots if you guys want to avoid that but I just use the stem I was like oh well too late now so yeah that's pretty much how you make the tea it's really good for your liver so really recommend if you have it like on the daily it's such a good cleanser you'll notice improvements in your liver because it I don't know why but it has such a good effect on cleansing the liver you can get it from the store but again try and get organic and if you can loose leaf tea to avoid the plastics in the um tea bags and just to avoid that waste part of it you can just use like a little strainer and put your tea in there yeah I think that's pretty much the rest of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do let me know what you thought of it and if you guys have tried out any other teas that are good for the liver or if you guys want me to do a future video on liver cleansing foods, recipes, drinks and things like that. Do let me know. I'll share that with you guys. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.